Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to chapter 1.1 of the monthly quarter EQ that is going to be X-Men Invasive Species. The boss is going to be a Ronin with renewed vigor, immune efficiency, steady perseverance, rise to power and attack with plus 100%. More on him we will discuss later during the fight with different options. The path we are going to attempt is going to be starting with Psylocke and ending with Sentry that is by far the easiest path there. There is going to be one difficult fight though with Bishop but I will explain how to take him down as well. The nodes they have reverted back to the old ones so this is all about your tech champions with high voltage fighting dirty and shock re revelation. So every time your tech uh, attacker will inflict a power drain, power burn, lock on the defender, you will inflict a shock debuff on the opponent that will give him 5% of the base damage. And because of that, every time defender will be affected by a shock, you will, your champion will get a fury that will increase your damage by 70% with a max stacks of 5. So you can increase your damage by 350%. So one of the best attackers that you could use here are your both your visions, also your Giddy 2099 is also really good, so is your Warlock and as well as uh, Nebula is a good option. So any champion that can either power burn or power steal that is tech or can apply shocks easily is a better champion to take out uh, all of this path. So starting off, I am going to bring in a team with uh, apocalypse first because I'm going to be using Archangel for the boss that's why I brought in Apocalypse and the first fight is against a mutant so I will use this fight to build up my four charges and then I'm going to take the rest of the path out with tech champions so the difficult one is going to be bishop so let's uh, see you at the bishop fight and talk through it how to deal with that fight
Now the difficult fight on this path is going to be this bishop fight. Now with bishop, whenever he throws an sp1, he gives you, uh, once he throws his sp1, he gives you those uh, incinerates on you that can do a lot of damage. So the best way I would like to play against him is to bring in the tech champion so he does not gain all of those extra prowesses and he does not go unblockable on his specials. And I just like to do 4 hit combos and then just block that forces him to throw a heavy attack instead of a special and once he, I push him to 2 bars of power I will just wait for him to throw an sp2 block the first part and then go back in and start hitting him again so the key thing is run out the unblockable timer because he will get unblockable because of fighting dirty if there is no a kind of um, a shock on him so once you do that once his unblockable goes away then you can go in use 4 hit combos and block and that will force him to throw more heavy attacks instead of specials so once you have that you can easily push him to an sp2 and you can avoid that uh, incinerate other champions that can work really well here can be your star lord ghost works really well you can convert all of those incinerates after sp1 into your furies and you can kill him off so yeah that's about it guys uh, just bring in a tech champion avoid those prowesses on him and you can take him down easy Now the boss is going to be a Ronin who is quite easy to deal with. The only two needs to, nodes you need to take care about is to rise to power. So when you knock him down and he gets up for 4 seconds, if he hits you in your block he gains extra power. And steady perseverance is that uh, whenever he will use a special attack he will go unblock, uh, he will go unstunnable for 4 seconds and plus 2 seconds for every uh, different buff on him. So, Different champions are available. I am doing Archangel who has Horseman's Energy and also Apocalypse. Also Gilly2099 and with Doom as well. The one advantage with Doom is you, your stagger can remove the stun, uh, stun, unstunnable buff by uh, the stagger on him. So you can use Doom as well but it's a longer fight. There are plenty of other options you can use. I've done this fight with Ghost as well. I've done it with Colossus with Omega Red as well. So it's a pretty simple and straightforward boss. I think they are compensating for the last month that was really difficult. This month's EQ bosses are very easy and easy to play with. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you find it helpful. If you did, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel and turn on the sports notifications. All of that really helps you out a lot. I'll be doing the remaining chapters also uh, one day each. So hopefully I'll have all of them up soon. So stay tuned guys. And apart from that, I hope you all have an amazing day and I'll see you next time.